So tell us who you are. Huh. <laughs> Good question. Um, just uh, just an average guy with exceptional hair, trying to run fast. Um, an average uh, guy with exceptional, exceptional hair. hair. You heard it yeah. right. Exceptional yeah. hair. <coughs> It's perfectly normal to me. Jeez, you're hurting me right now. You don't know who I am? This is my hair? Come on. Um, Cam is the guy with the exception. I don't want to hear that. Can you talk about that uh, that race, barely missing the American Collegiate Rock? Yeah, you know, I didn't I didn't uh, hear about that. So, I mean, it was a, it was a good race. I, I'm pleased with it, nonetheless. Um, I think we came through the mile a little slow. Um, I think we wanted to come through in 410. And I think we came through something 413. I think they said 414. 414, okay. Um, so, you know, I, I took the lead and um, was just making sure that I got, got a fast time, got the qualifier. Um, so, all in all, I'm happy to get that in the win. Coming back east, uh, does that mean anything to you, racing kind of close to home? Yeah, I mean, I got family out here. Um, you know, they're, they're coming to watch me, so. What, what actually is your hometown? I'm from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Oh, okay. I went to Northeastern. In Boston. Three, three, so, years of, three years or four years? Three years. Um, so yeah, it means a lot to come back east and uh, and uh, run well. You know, it would have been a, a long trip home if and, I didn't if I didn't do well. And and with a huge Oregon contingent here, you guys had four yeah. five guys in that three K, all all doing really well. I mean, yeah, the training's been great. It's it's. I mean, you can't ask for anything more to be able to train with the guys that you know we've been training with. Um, so it's. You know, it makes these races a lot easier when you got a whole group in there that you know is ready to run. And you know, I'm happy that you know Will could do this with me. Yeah. Will, what were your expectations? I know you were a little hanging back a bit. Not that much, but yeah, you know, coming on. Did, did it just get comfortable for you? Yeah. You know, at the point you moved up. I mean. Yeah, I was just along for the ride. You know, um, I was here to get a qualifier for NCAA's. You know, hopefully low 750s, close to 750. Um, you know, the plan was to kind of. Follow Eric's lead. Uh, that's what I tried to do. Um, you know, it ended up being uh, us two and Bayer for a long time. And yeah, I was just trying to stick with him as long as I could. Yeah, what were your thoughts when Bayer kind of made that move with 700 to go? Yeah, uh, I'm glad he did. Really glad because we were slow. Um, so he he definitely did a lot to get the pace rolling. It's like 100 to go. It looked like you know, it's a moment. Maybe you might have been thinking about going around Eric. Were you thinking you could get him? I thought I'd uh, let him have his moment of glory. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, you know, I was uh, I was all out from about 300 to go, and he just had another gear. What's been the biggest difference? I mean, this is about a six-second PR for you. What's been yeah. the biggest difference from you know Ivy League to now Pac-12? Uh, just training consistency. You know, um, I haven't gotten hurt the whole time I've been here or had any downtime like that. Um, you know, training at Dartmouth was fantastic. Are you very happy for that Ivy League rule? Yeah, you have four years and you're out. Is that a good rule? It's. I'm undecided. I mean, obviously. It's out for you. Yeah, it's it's worked out well for me, and it's worked out for a lot of Ivy guys in the past. But I think there is definitely some frustration uh, <coughs> that you can't you can't stay in the Ivy League as a, a fifth year graduate student. Did your did your path have anything to do with, well, first of all, I know that it's Vin's path, in LA, right? you know, Dartmouth Oregon, but it's also Alex Pappas' path. I mean, did the fact that these other people had taken that route mean much to you? Yeah, um, I mean, you know, Vin was, you know, the first guy to go make his way from Dartmouth Oregon. Um, and then, you know, two years ago, Matt Miner and Alexa Pappas both did fifth years and both had a lot of success. So I was definitely confident that I'd be able to have a good year out there. Uh, I've heard that you, you can, if you sit out the whole year, you can come back. Uh, to stay in the Ivy League? Yeah. Uh, or also in Holland, is that the, Yeah. The, uh, the tricky part of that is that you have to still be an undergrad. Um, I graduated last Eric, spring, yeah. so I would have had to basically delay yeah, getting my yeah, degree. If you haven't graduated, yeah, yeah. you still do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's get now. Eric. With, uh, with Coach Powell, I was kind of saying right next to him, kind of yelling, you guys speed up, speed up. Does that kind of play with your mind at all? Like, oh, we're, we're off pace because the Pacers not really doing you know, his pace. You know, you know, the, the so plan was really uh, a little off time. Four, ten, you know, don't, so we wanted. Just push but, it for the uh, you know, luckily it first felt, mile on. You know, it felt like a fast race, so I get that um, qualified. I felt good. You know, if I had 
playing a golf ball. If it had felt fast and I saw they were slowing my head, you know, freaked out a little bit. But I was feeling good, and so I was kind of ready to drop my hammer at the end. Once you find out that the pace is kind of off, does it kind of spark that competitive juice? Like, you know, now we probably won't hit that time in the race. Yeah, I think, you know, hitting 1200 around 310, I definitely saw Eric and Andy kind of get ready to go. So I got ready to go with them. Yeah, yeah.